What's going on guys? Mitch Crew here from Wild Horses. For those of you who are new to the channel, we basically talk about everything Ford Bronco. Now, if you don't have a Bronco, don't worry about it. Stick around for this video because a lot of the stuff we're gonna be talking about can be applied to a ton of other vehicles. Now, with that being said, a couple weeks ago, I posted a video called the top 10 things to make your Bronco more comfortable. For some of you, that's exactly what you were looking for. But for those of you who'd rather tear up a trail in four wheel drive, this video is for you. So today I'm bringing you part one of the top 10 upgrades to make your Bronco more off-roadable. Starting off at the top of the list, just like any good list, Let's address safety. A top priority for your Bronco or any other off-road vehicle is a roll bar. Why, you ask? While off-road accidents may not happen all the time, they say better safe than sorry for a reason. It's like an athletic cup. You may never need one, but in the event that you do, gents, you'll be glad you had one. A roll bar gives you that safety that when things do turn upside down, you're chilling. So roll bar, definite necessary upgrade. The next safety upgrade on the list is seatbelts. If not a harness seatbelt, at least a three-point seatbelt to provide that extra protection. Now, I know what you guys are saying. Well, a seatbelt didn't save Tupac from dying. Well, actually, probably none of you guys are saying that. I've heard people say it. Anyways, let's just agree that seatbelts are a good idea. Moving on. Brakes. Having solid working brakes on the trail is a must. Now, knowing when and when not to use them is another thing entirely, but having them will keep you from doing the obvious, like rolling off a cliff. Oh no! Oh no! Always a good thing. If your Bronco didn't come with it already, one way to achieve great working brakes is by installing a power brake system. Two viable options for power brake systems are vacuum boost and hydro boost systems. Depending on your price range, you can go with either and get some solid working brakes. Another thing to look at replacing are the brakes themselves. While drum brakes can work, they just don't work as well as disc brakes. It's the same as vacuum boost versus hydro boost. Both get the job done, but if you're willing to spend the extra money on the hydro boost system, your brakes will be that much better. It's the same with disc brakes. Again, it's up to you and your price range, so talk to your wife, make a budget, boom, call us and we'll help you out with that. All right, that's all, if not most of the safety stuff out of the way, but what about safety for your truck? You see, because trails are so hungry for a piece of your beautiful, straight Bronco body, rockers are a favorite on trail. So to take care of that puppy, invest in some rock rails. Adding an extra quarter inch of steel makes a world of a difference on the trail. And if you're not worried about body damage, hey, don't worry about it. But either way, Rock Rails adds a beefy flair to your Bronco, 
so check them out. Another Bronco protection device is a new bumper. Front and rear if you really care. I've said it before, stock bumpers just can't hang on the trail. Upgrade to something with much more durability and more bragging rights. Another reason a bumper is such a good idea is because of the wench option. With the wench being the next trail upgrade you should look into, you'll need a bumper to mount it to. Common sense stuff, man. This all works together in... in harmony. So the wench. Off-roading, four-wheeling. At some point, you or your buddy may need a wench. It's just part of the game. If you or your trail buddy rolls over and neither of you have a wench, ha-ha, <laughs> you're screwed. Get a wench. If not, a uh, thick piece of rope. Next on the upgrade list, you'll want to get a gas tank skid plate. If you believe the trail is hungry enough to bash your rockers, you best believe it's thirsty enough to gouge a hole in your gas tank. If that happens, it's just about the end of the line, buddy. You can't weld it. Don't weld it. Just don't try and prove me wrong. Just trust me. It's not a good idea. If you have a thick skid plate, you don't have to worry about it. One thing you do need to worry about though is stock engine mounts. Now if you're fine with your engine bouncing around, fan chewing into your radiator, all that jazz, sure, don't worry about this one. But almost any avid four-wheeler will tell you you need good, solid engine mounts. On a Bronco, you can upgrade to extreme motor mounts and get rid of all of the worry of a loose engine. It's one less thing to worry about, so now let's move on to performance upgrades. In this video, I'm only going to talk about a few of the basic off-road performance upgrades, but check out part two coming out soon, where I'll talk about things like steering, suspension, lockers, blah, 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 all of the fun stuff. All right, so the performance upgrades are going to have to wait because it's five o'clock and it's raining. Rain, rain, go away, come and get some other day. Entry door. Sorcery. All right, performance upgrades. The first performance upgrade is obvious. Mm. <gasps> One second. Fuel injection. It was in the top 10 things to make your Bronco more comfortable, but it's also getting lumped into the off-road upgrades for a reason. And that reason is because wheeling with a carburetor is stressful business. A Bronco stalling out every 10 seconds is not how I like to wheel, so a fuel injection was a game changer for me. With computer controlled fuel injection, you don't have to worry about altitude or angle messing with the performance of your rig. While yes, people wheel with carbs all the time, I just like the luxury of not having to worry about my rig stalling out. That decision is yours to make. If you need any more information on fuel injection and what route to go, we'd be happy to assist you here at Wild Horses. Anyways, one last thing we're going to touch on today is a transmission cooler. Now this is a big deal for me because I have had terrible transmission history. Your transmission is running great? Cool. I didn't have such good luck. After pulling my transmission out one too many times, me and my pops figured it was time to do something about it. We ran a gauge to my transmission and I installed a transmission cooler. Now I didn't do it right the first time. Uh, the transmission cooler just wasn't well ventilated. So I ended up doing a different one a few months later, which is this setup. And that solved the overheating problem. Either way, whether or not your transmission is overheating, it is still a good idea to have a transmission cooler when four-wheeling because you're putting a lot of stress on your transmission and you don't want to burn through seals and all that mess. A transmission cooler, when installed right, cuts that problem to a minimum. And it saves a ton of tranny oil because you're not 
pull in the pan 10 different times trying to figure out what's wrong. Take that from me. And yeah, that about sums this video up. That was part one of the top 10 upgrades to make your Bronco the best off-road vehicle possible. It was pretty basic, but I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, I get that you don't have to use all of this stuff, but at the end of the day, it's always a great idea to have. So if you're tearing it up in your stock Bronco, by all means continue to do so if that's your cup of tea but I do highly recommend looking into some of this stuff. Anyways, if this video gave you some kind of direction and you want to take it to the next level, stay tuned for part two, because like I said, suspension, lockers, we'll talk about gearing, and all of the fun stuff that takes your Bronco to a whole new level. Leave a comment if you guys want us to touch on anything in particular, and we'll see what we can do. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe aren't already Bronco TV man that is what we do but anyways with all of that being said we will see you guys out there on the trail Peace.